Hi, I got another video. I'm getting a lot of comments from people to saying that they're uh, having to spend too much time watching all my videos to figure out how to solve the Rubik's Cube using the corners first method. So I'm doing one video and putting it all together. And if you just watch this one video and follow everything I'm going to do, you're going to get the Rubik's Cube solved in this video all by itself. Okay, so let's get started. I've already scrambled up a Rubik's Cube here, and step one, which we're going to do, is we're going to put in the corners. So, to make it easy on everybody, I'm just going to pick a white corner, and um, it's already got two, so we'll just put those two in place. You want to make sure that your four corners match all three, so white, white, blue, blue, orange, orange, um, and let's get into it. So what we need to do is we need to put these other three whites up here. This white uh, is in the wrong spot because that's a green and that's an orange. So in fact, that one needs to go here. So, uh, and I also see one down here. So let's go ahead and start putting them where they're supposed to be. So here is a white with a red and a green, and it needs to go up here uh, with the white, the red, and the green. And so this one needs to go up here in place of this one. So we're going to turn it down, we're going to turn it into place, and we're going to turn it up. Um, and then it also puts the piece that was up there down. And so now it's down here for us and ready to be put up in its spot next to the white, orange, and green. Here is white, orange, and green. So therefore it goes there and there it is. So we're going to bring this down, turn that into place, and bring it up. Now we have three of the corners solved, one more corner to go. Now in this case, the corner happens to be on a bottom, not uh, on a bottom row. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it, it wants to go here, you're going to put it underneath where you want it to go, and you're going to do this move. Right side, two turns on the bottom, right side clockwise, bottom two turns, face clockwise, bottom one turn back, face counterclockwise. And now we've got the four on the top. That's what step one is in my series. Step two in my series is turn it upside down and look now at the colors on the back. And step one, before we make the X on the bottom, what we're going to do is we're going to actually just position the cubes so they're in the right spot. So what you need to do is you need to look and say, well, yellow, red, green uh, would go here. And you need to see if everything works or if something needs to be switched. Well, in this particular case, uh, this is uh, a yellow, blue, red, and here's a green, orange, so this does not go here. Uh, in fact, this goes here. And in this case, yellow, green, orange, this goes here. And in this case, uh, blue, uh, yellow, orange, this goes here. Now, a lot of people have said to me, like, because uh, I have said, you only need to either switch two this way or two this way. People have said in videos, how do you switch three? Well, the answer is, if you get into this situation where you need to switch three, turn the top cube and align another corner up. So, so let's just turn it a few turns. And so let's put this one into place. And there's always a place that will have two correct. So by turning this this way, I've now put the yellow, green, orange correct. I've also put the yellow, blue, orange correct. And now these two just need to be switched. See the uh, yellow, red, green needs to go here and the yellow, blue, red needs to go here. So if you're finding that there's n none in place or three in place, turn the top and you eventually will find two that are in place and two that need to be flopped every time. So in this case, you take the two that need to be flopped, you put it here, you still have your X on the bottom, and you do this move. Right side two times, top counterclockwise. Right side two times, top clockwise. Right side two times, back two times, top side clockwise, back two times, top side counterclockwise, back two times. We still have our X on the bottom, and now if you'll take a look, we, you know, we put these greens here to show you. This, green, this corner's in the right spot. This one's in the right spot. This one is in the right spot, although it just needs to be turned. This one's in the right spot. It just needs to be turned. That's step two in my series. Step three in my series was to turn 
uh, these so that you make an X on this side. And by doing so, you'll put an X on every side. Now, I've also done a video where I teach you how to combine these steps two and threes at the same time. There's 40-something algorithms that actually move these corners around and turn them to get the X all at one time. You can check out that video also on my site. So, uh, there's a lot of different moves also to uh, put X's on this top. Um, but I'm just going to teach you one move, and the, the thing about this move is you can actually just keep repeating this move over and over and over again if you choose to get the X uh, on the top. So you're going to, now this time, put the X away from you. You're going to uh, put the, uh, the, the side you want to get the X on facing you, and you do this move. You're going to go top counterclockwise, front face two times, Top clockwise, front face clockwise, top counterclockwise, front face clockwise, top counterclockwise. You still have the X here. And what you do is you have to sort of repeat this move a couple of times, and it will eventually give you what you're looking for. I know I'm going to have... Now, is this a way to do it in 30 seconds? Absolutely not. But if you're really a beginner, you can just keep repeating this move as I'm doing right now, and it will eventually put the X on that side. There you go. And then I'll straighten it up, and now you have an X on every side. So, so that's how the first three steps are done in my series. So let's move on to what would be step four in my series, which is now we're now going to fill in um, all the edges. So we'll start with the white, and what we're going to do is you do three on the top, and three on the bottom, and then we put the last two in all together. So what we're looking for are white blue edges, white red edges, and so forth. So here's a white orange edge. This is real simple. You just want to put it here. You want to turn the top to put the white orange here. You're going to turn it down, put the white orange in, turn it back up. We're going to look for more whites. In this case, here is a white green, and it needs to go up here. So in this case, you turn it right, Move it up and turn it up. Perfect. Here is a white blue. You don't have to worry about the bottom at this point while you're doing the top. You're not messing up the corners, and it doesn't matter how you're messing up the edges. So there you go. We put that in. Now we only do three, like I said. We're going to turn it upside down, and now we're going to do some on this side. So here's a yellow. Here's The only trick on this now is that you have one messed up on the bottom. And the reason you have that messed up on the bottom is because as you put these pieces in, it always messes up one piece. So what you're going to do is as you put these pieces in, like this yellow blue is going to go into this yellow blue, you always just turn the top cube so that the piece you're going to put in is always directly above the one piece you didn't finish. So here we are. We're going to take this yellow blue. We're going to put it here with yellow blue. I make sure this is directly underneath. Turn it down, put it in, turn it up. Great. Now let's see. The next yellow here, yellow gr uh, green, it needs to go here. So I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to turn this to make sure that the yellow green is going to go here with the yellow green. Below it is the unfinished piece, and there it is. Turn it, put it in, and turn it up. And now we have this yellow red. We can turn it, this because this is going to go right up here. So that'll turn, go in, and go up. And now we're on the last piece here. This yellow orange needs to go here with this yellow orange. So we're going to actually make sure that missing piece is directly under where it needs to go. And here is the yellow orange. And there's where the yellow orange needs to go. Turn it down, put in the yellow orange turn it up. That solves that side. And now we're on this side. And now what we have to do is just put in that last piece. So there it is. In this case, we're going to have to know a move um, where it's going to go from here to here. There's also a move, if you look at the, my series where I'll show you, that makes it go from here to here. And here is that move. You're going to turn, the, you're going to, uh, with it on the right side and this facing you, you're going to go right clockwise, center, one, right counterclockwise, center, one, right counterclockwise again, center back, 
and right clockwise. Now that's solved, that's solved. And then we move on to what was part five in my series, which is doing these four last edges. So let's just straighten it up so you can kind of get a sense of what, where we're at. The only four pieces missing uh, that needs to be solved in this cube are these four. And if you watch my uh, number five, as well as my additional moves on five, I teach you all the options and all the things that there are on how to solve every situation. All right, so let's take a look at this. In this case, we have a orange green, that needs to go here. We have a green red, that needs to go here. We have a, a red blue that needs to go here, and we have a, an orange blue that needs to go here. So these two need to flop, and these two need to flop. So when you have a situation like that, you hold it, the, the two that you wanna switch on top up here, the two you wanna switch up, up like this, you turn the center down two times, bottom twice, you turn the center up, come on cube, two times, and bottom twice. And now what we've done is we've actually flopped them. So now this is, these are all in the right spot, and these are all in the right spot. The only thing that's left now in this cube is this needs to be turned upside down, and this needs to be turned upside down. So the move I'm going to show you right now flops this one and this one. So in order to do that, we'll have to turn this two times. So that now this one and this one are the two that need to be turned. And we do center up one, top, center up one, top clockwise again, center up one, top clockwise two times, center down one, top counterclockwise again, middle down, top counterclockwise again, that, and then two times. You can also see that move again, my episode, uh, my uh, number five. Turn that cube back the way it was, and there it is. Hope you enjoyed this series, and talk to you later.